although takeout is still allowed after 10 p.m. Now, this comes after the governor placed new restrictions on those bars and restaurants. It has other businesses in places like churches wondering if they'll be next. ABC 6 News reporter Devin Martin spoke with a local church about how they're preparing. We long to be in community. We need each other. Coming together for church has looked different due to the pandemic. And Jeanette Bando is the lead pastor at Bethel Lutheran Church. She says if the governor makes a restriction announcement for faith-based communities, they'll be ready. We are going to continue to be mindful of the best interest of our members and their health and safety. And so with our re-engagement task force, as well as guidance from the governor, we want to uh, abide by those precautions that again, help us move through this pandemic with uh, the hope of someday regathering together again. Pastor Bandel says the church meets weekly to discuss how the congregation can move forward. But the biggest change is the church stopped in-person worship this weekend. They now continue their service on YouTube. No matter what the future holds, Pastor Bandel says it's important to think outside the box. We have also offered drive-in worship. We have a great opportunity to roll out a wagon and put an altar on top, and we are able to address all the cars that gather. Even though times are tough, Pastor Bandel says coming together is still possible. The church is not a building, it is the people. It is God's people. And so whether we need to gather for a time virtually or in person in smaller groups, it is still the church. And so I hope that people find ways to connect with their congregations. Moving forward in a time of uncertainty, Devin Martin, ABC6 News. Great message there. Thank you so much, Devin, for that story. Now, Lead Pastor Bandel says they're going to offer online worship for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Other churches we spoke with say meetings happen often about possible transitions.